Master's matchups and then the king of the mats later on. But we stick with the black belt. Master one at middleweight. And we'll see. Mikey, there you go. Mike Ready? in the red belt, Five. Faisal in the black belt. This one, the semi finals of the middleweights under 85 kilograms. Five. Referee bringing them back into the center of the mat here. And we've seen the power game of Mike previously. He fakes and feigns, immediately looks to drag his opponent down to the ground and try and initiate sweeps. You've got to be careful of the double under quick pass here from Castle. Castle wants to pull his opponent onto his lap and then look to elect a side to pass the guard. You can do that by throwing the legs over. You can do that by stacking his opponent with the legs over the head. Mike looking to take advantage of the belt here. As a lever point to try and maneuver his hips backward. But what he's gonna try and do is walk his shoulders back and circle his legs on the inside. But that grip on the belt here serves as an anchor point and also breaks the posture of his opponent. Castle now can look to circle round to his right side. One underhook, one overhook. He's gonna make sure that he passes that bottom leg here from the camera angle and then the top leg here we're seeing from this camera angle. And it could elect him to move round to the left side now given that right leg of Mike is uh, putting that guard pass around to his right side in jeopardy. As you can see there, he tries to evade and go around the opposite side. He's got to make sure he blocks that leg though. Beautiful work from Fassel. But Mike did a great job of stifling that guard pass attempt. Fassel looking for this textbook over under pass. Oh, he skips through now, looking for side control. Reverse mount. Vassal's going to try and reach around and uh, break the legs open now of Mike. Mike's going to try and keep coming out of that back door. If you can free the legs and gain some leverage, potentially expose the back here. But this is a position where it's a waiting game to see action. where your opponent tries to advance. The referee asking for more action. Often we see two athletes here wait for the ample opportunity, but they don't want to initiate that and allow their opponent to take advantage. So often we see a little bit of a waiting game here. Foul. Foul. Double foul there from the referee. Action. Action. Oh, and he's looking for action again. He might look to to further initiate more penalty points here. The problem for Mike is if he undoes those legs, he allows Fassel oh. to posture up and turn into him. He could swing oh. around to side control, to knee on belly. Advantage goes to Mike. But it's three and three here, a minute left. And of course, the last person to score will win the match if there's no definitive lead on the scorecards. Action! Action! If we're asking for some more action again. This position precarious in the fact that the nuance for error is very minimal. 
The second you try and do something here, it gives your opponent the opportunity to disbalance you to improve their position. Stop, stop, don't move, don't move, okay? Two points here. Yeah, okay. For Mike and then an advantage for Fessel. Bring it to six and six, 23 seconds left on the clock. The referee might look for us, ask for the video assisted replay. The Falcon Eye here being brought into play. What a great piece of kit. An excellent way to make sure the fights are immensely fair and there's no question about it. The referee can literally ask for a replay of specific sequences in the match to determine whether the awardance of points is correct. And he'll give or take away points as, uh, as he decides on the replay here. You can see that from the VAR check on the right hand of your screen, the referees at mat side will then go through the footage. They will advise the referee on what they, they've seen. They will discuss it and then come out with a definitive decision. It's a great way to make sure the fights are fair. Now the combat sports does this. You know, there's lots of combat sports throughout the whole umbrella of martial arts that don't have the ability to rewind the footage whilst they're there and then determine the outcome whilst they're at the event you know often after this is brought into play which is immensely unfair on the athletes that put all the work in the weight cuts the training you know this makes sure that it is a uh, 100 percent fair the referee puts them back to their feet and awards Fassel with seven points to Mike six. Vassal now is going to work off of his back. He's going to make sure that Mike doesn't get a definitive guard pass here now, though. Mike looking to skip round, slice the knee through. Look to control here. He's got a sprawl, keep heavy to avoid the takedown. Vassal with a beautiful corner change there for the double leg as the time runs out. Vassal's done enough here to move forward in the semi finals. But let's see if the referee. Take a look at the Falcon Eye again. He's going to see to make sure that he awards the relevant points here. See Fessel pull the legs in, sweep the legs across right at the end of time. I think he's going to try and look at this, this guard pass here. Skips through, turns down, lifts his opponent. Again, the Falcon Eye here at the AJP Tour being implored to make sure the fights are fair. And the referee is going to give it to Mike Piera. The winner here at the semifinals of the Black Belt Master 1 middleweight division. He'll move forward in the competition.